Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Oracle reading. And our Oracle card for today belongs to the Guiding Light Oracle. And it is, in chal and it is entitled, The Challenger. Now, uh, whether you like it or not, there will be always people in your life that will make you sometimes lose your peace okay these are people that rock the boat of your life okay this could be people who have been with you for a long time it can be also people who just pops into your life unexpectedly or they could be also just arriving in your life right now now these people make you lose your balance okay uh, Sometimes they make you lose your patience. Sometimes they uh, make you doubt yourself also. Sometimes they just have a way of dealing with you that it brings out the worst in you. Okay. Sometimes also they, they really, really challenge your patience. Uh, they even challenge also your ability to love. They sometimes even make us feel sorry. They make us realize of our incapacities also. They remind us also of our mistakes. They sometimes even make us feel guilty. Or sometimes we, they also make us feel as if we are oppressed. Okay. They sometimes make us feel alienated also. They sometimes make us doubt our self-concept. Uh, sometimes they make us feel down also. Sometimes they just make us angry. Now these people who make us lose our balance come into our life because they are... You know how it is when you... Because you are like a pearl. Okay, you're like a shell, okay? And uh, this shell, if, for example, a sand enters the shell and remains inside, it irritates the shell and the shell responds to it. And after several, a certain period of time, the shell develops a pearl. It's the same. These people who challenge our life allows us to create pearls in our life. They allow us to grow. They allow us to discover certain things. And also they allow us to heal. Because oftentimes, for example, you see somebody and you get angry with them. Sometimes it makes us look into ourselves and try to see, why am I always angry with this person? Why does this person always challenge me, my patience? make me lose my balance. And if we look deep inside, we discover it's because they might be reminding us of certain aspects in ourselves that we also do not like, but we sort of push into our subconscious mind. If we look at this challenger as something that will teach us a lesson, then maybe it will be an opportunity for us to grow. Challengers, challengers can be blessings in disguise, and oftentimes they are. They make us look into ourselves and give us an opportunity that if we are honest enough and humble enough to realize, maybe this person is making me angry because it reminds me of an aspect in myself that I need to be reconciled with and maybe I need to work on. Maybe there is an aspect in my life that I have allowed to fester like a wound that maybe it's time for me to address and undergo healing. It's the same also that maybe this person is given to me at this moment in time because I am meant to learn something new so that I will be able to finally do that special 
mission I am placed here in this lifetime to accomplish. Sometimes when they make us see certain things that needs to be changed, they become an inspiration for us to make a difference in the world, to change what we see. So the challenger can be a blessing in disguise. Sometimes the challenger can be also somebody who is doing well in their life and then you find yourself uh, being jealous and you can you tell yourself, I also can have this one. I deserve this one. Why is this person having this one and how, how come I am not? Okay. Well, when that comes also, it's an opportunity for us to try to see and try to work on ourselves and try to see. Maybe it is something that I need to work on myself. Maybe this person, the reason why I am jealous of this person is this because this is one aspect in my life that I need to work on. Maybe they are living the life that I also would like to live. Then maybe we should take the first step towards that kind of life that we also would like to live. So sometimes when a certain, also, a certain person also makes us lose our balance in a way that we feel jealous of them, then maybe they are telling us, maybe you are in a situation right now that you are not happy. And maybe a similar life to the life they are living is the life that you want to live. Well, then start working on it and start work, start doing, start reaching for that dream. The life that they are living is quite similar to what you want to live, then go for it. But uh, your life and their life is different. They also have their own struggles, which oftentimes the struggles that we encounter we don't show to the world. But they also have their own struggles that you might not know. But if there are certain aspects in their life that you seem to be jealous of, maybe these are certain aspects that maybe you should strive for also in your life. And try to journey your own journey. Walk your own journey. And be grateful that they made you realize, oh, this is one thing that I want to have also in my life. And you work on it. And then forget about it. You close the door and work on yourself so this card that we are encountering right now is inviting us to consider people that challenge us as blessings in disguise these are people that makes us stop take a pause and we examine our life to try to see if there are aspects in our life that we need to improve on or there are aspects in our life that we need to be reconciled with or there are aspects in our life that we need some healing. The challenger is a blessing in disguise. They come into our life in order to help us grow. They actually come into our life to make us realize of certain things that we might have neglected. So, accept them. And when they come, take a pause and try to see, or maybe ask ourselves the question, why does this person make me lose my balance? Or why does this person make me lose my peace? And maybe if we do that, we will be able to say, Eureka, how come I never realize it? This person can be a jumping board to better insights, better outlook in our life, or better outlooks, better points of views in our life. And maybe will make us go towards the right direction in our life. They could even help us address certain things that we might have not given attention to in our life. 
the challenger is a blessing in disguise. Well, let's now go to the handbook that accompanies this card. Maybe we can gain more insights regarding the challenger. Your relationships could be challenging you in a very painful way. Mm -hmm. This card represents a person in your life that is challenging you on every level. This could be someone who makes you second-guess yourself, hurts your feelings, or causes you to feel less than. This could be someone you have known for a really long time, or someone who just entered the picture. There is a reason they came into your life. Remember that no matter how they make you feel, you are still choosing to feel this way. Sometimes, people come into our life to challenge us to heal our past. You could be recreating your past. This person holds the key to understanding something that you need to let go of. What situations or patterns do you feel recreating for yourself? It could be that this person reminds you of a relationship from your past, such as your relationship with a family member that is coming to the surface to be healed now. Once you have healed this within yourself, you will notice that this situation will resolve itself. Call on your angels and guides and ask them to help you to release the root cause of this challenge. A challenger will come into your life to assist your evolution. Do not be overly concerned by this. This person is here to help you heal the past. You are getting ready to release an unhealthy pattern or belief that has been with you for a really long time. Well, that's it for today. I hope this one has given you some insights and uh, maybe help you find a way towards peace again if there is a challenger who is present in your life right now. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. It really helps the channel to grow and it really brings the channel to be more accessible to other people. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.